Hey guys, it's Breeze Gaming TV here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to play the pistol round. Okay, you, just the pistol round, so that means USP slash P2K or the Glock. Uh, before starting the video, I just want to thank everyone for making this possible. I'm at 300 subscribers. Actually, if I check this warning, it was actually 305. Uh, so I kind of missed when I got the 300 mark. I, I forgot when, but I really want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for making this possible for me uh, to actually even reach. 300 subs because when I started my channel like a year and an ish ago I never even thought I'd pass 20 subscribers to be honest so it's great to see me in this specific position so let's go with the video all right so uh USP so let's start with the CT side like how I would play as a first round so there's a few options you can there's a few options okay number one you can buy a Kevlar, Kevlar vest because as an armor, that's pretty good because Glocks don't do much damage when you're armored, That's which is really good. So buying that will be great. Or your second choice, obviously, to buy a diffuse kit and two flashes because you only have $800. So you can always buy a diffuse kit and buy two flashes. The other option is buy a Molotov and a flash. Armor. Why would you buy the armor? Buying the armor is really good against Glock because Glock does like, like, literally, like literally no damage. Uh, to you if they're shooting at your armor, okay? If they shoot your legs and your head, yes, it does damage. For generally speaking, um, even if you're higher ranks or lower ranks, doesn't really matter. Uh, you'd be a tough target to kill with a Glock, even though in, even though you don't have a head armor. So number two, why would you buy a kit and two flashes? A kit because if you're playing a retake position, uh, generally I would let the anchors buy the kit. Like let's say like if I'm playing B. In this map, okay. If I'm playing B, but I'm playing like from graffiti or a lower or main, right? I'll buy kit because I know I'm the retake guy. I'm not the guy that's gonna take the initial hit. I'm more of the support guy that's gonna back off the. Let's say I have someone in barrels and they're having gunfight and they're pushing a monster. I'll shoot a few times, right, and then back off to safety because I know I have a kit. I shouldn't die out in the open. I should let uh, my teammates know I have a kit and that we should retake the bomb site. I'm like, hey guys, I have a kit. Let's say we take the bomb site. And you have two flashes, all right? So with two flashes, what uh, two flashes would do to help you is on a retake situation, you flash the enemies and your teammate can collapse in to actually get the kill and perhaps win the round for you. That's that's number two. Number three, why would you buy a molly and a flash? A molly is perfect if you're also playing, uh, let's say like you're playing, like let's say you're playing cobblestone okay you're playing cobblestone there's one a and four b your player a dies and you re rotate over and you have a molotov and they didn't plant yet like you know they, they call it oh my god they're rushing a so you're going right away and you have molotov you can actually molotov off default so they don't plant so molotov is perfect to to you know force them not to plant so they're gonna be in a compromised position like since they can't plan they gotta try to kill you or wait till molly has gone so it distracts them for your team to have that additional seven seconds to actually try to rush them on top of that they don't get the bomb plant okay uh obviously a flash will be good too. use all of your money to actually get the utility that's that's good for you you can't get much with 200 dollars other than zeus or buy another usp why would you do that or buy a decoy it's not useful so a flash would be good for that so that's all the combos now uh we talked about the buys now we're going to talk about playstyle all right playstyle with usp uh, how i would approach the usp playstyle is play a very static and passive approach okay so let's say like i want to spot a okay so like my job is a okay i'm going a this round perfect so i'm gonna spot the enemy I'm gonna be here oh, i see two enemies pass to playground i'm just gonna back up okay to safety and I'll play perhaps in a position like this, winging here and winging like this, okay? Just strafing back and forth from middle to party to see if there's enemies coming here. If you see another enemy, pop two shots and back off, all right? Obviously, calling for your teammates that you see a few enemies over there, okay? You back off, and now you're here. Wait for enemies to, to peek you, take a few shots, and then back off again. That's how I would play with USP, because you have a one-tap potential with the USP or the P2K, right? So you don't want to be engaged in a full-fledged cowboy-style kind of aim duel that you're just going to shoot yourself to death. They have 20 bullets, you have 12. And if they're coming as a team, like 5 rushing you, your 12 bullets, you, you, you'll need the aim of the gods to actually kill them off if you're all in the open, okay? So that's why, even with armor, you're still, a, you're still, you know, a, you're not a threat anymore. Even if, just because you have an armor doesn't mean you're a god, right? Like, they can still hurt you. So that being said, again... 
get the information, shoot a few times, and then back off, okay? Back off to safety. That's how I will play as a CT, all right? Now, as a terrorist, what can you do as a terrorist? Because a terrorist, the Glock is not a one-tap from afar, and it's less accurate, okay? But, you know what you have that's good for you? You guys have the man advantage. So, if you guys have, like, five rushing to a place, you guys have the Glock train going on, and you can force someone to die. You can take the aim duel and force them to not back up to safety. So, um, so as a, uh, a terrorist, it's still good to buy Kevlar, right? Because, like, not all... People can actually just aim for your head if you're moving. If you're a moving target, like moving a target all the time, which I'll explain after how you play as a terrorist with the gun, you'll be a harder target to kill. So that's uh, one possible buy. Another possible buy is uh, a smoke and a Molotov. Molotov two flashes, smoke two flashes. Grenades don't even buy bother buying grenade because like if most of the time CTs are gonna buy armor all the time. Like 90% of the time they're gonna buy armor, so it's not worth it. Doesn't hurt them as much so smoke two flashes smoke molotov molotov two flashes okay those are great to set up a bomb site tag to set up a molotov for after plant like let's say we're our team is going b okay and you know the usp is really strong so you expect someone to be at heaven so if you smoke off heaven that's one th one less thing to worry about and if you molotov the guy playing barrels that's another less thing to worry about right so you waste yes 700 dollars but you set up your teammate for success, right? Your team is gonna peek from here. He can't play here. He's gonna back off, get the kill. Just have him smoked off. You can plant safely and you win the round if you do everything correctly, right? So that's one of the buy I can do. And now, as a terrorist, how would you approach some fights? As I said earlier, as I mentioned, you want to take, you want to be a moving target, okay? Obviously, you're not gonna be a moving target like this, right? But you're gonna be a moving target, which means that's gonna be tough to be killed by the enemy so assuming let's say i'm fighting someone like around dumpster okay and he and no one's bank let's say like we smoke bank for for the vis video sake we smoke the bank and you're fighting someone dumpster okay obviously if you really want to take the fight move like be a moving target like obviously like that like crouch between like three four shots and always be moving like like you do strafe hit strafe hit strafe hit strafe hit duck hit hit strafe again hit right you have to be moving all the time right obviously that's not what i would do in the real game situation real game situation i'll be more of a panic mode more like this right you know that's how i would play that's how they exactly how we play that that gun around right so you want to be a moving target number two choose the fights choose your fights don't choose stupid fights. Like, you know they have a USP. Why would you go long? Why would you go long against a guy that has a USP that's going to one-tap you from afar, right? USP has a one-tap potential for, like, over, like, almost 4,000 units. Uh, no maps have more than 4,000 units. So you get the point that, you know, you're going to get one-tap if they aim you correctly. So you want to aim for the right duels, okay? So, like, going bathroom is a great one. Going connector is a good one because you're kind of close, right? Everything is pretty close quarters, right? Then... Right, so like even if you're here, yes, it's kind of far, but it's not too far. It's like considered a medium gun range fight, okay? So that's how I would approach playing CT and T on pistol round. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, again, thank you for 300 subs. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, guys.